Eusebio da Silva Ferreira, also known as the Black Panther, wrote his name in FIFA World Cup history by scoring nine goals at the 1966 finals in England. Born in Lorenzo Marquez, Mozambique on the 25th of January in 1942, he possessed explosive pace and deceptive ability. An enduring icon, Eusebio turned out to be the star of the tournament in 1966. His impact on English soil was quite simply remarkable. In the first round, Portugal beat Hungary, Bulgaria and most impressively defending champions Brazil. The match at Goodison Park in Liverpool was billed as a contest between the great Pelé and Eusebio. In truth, the battle between the two was horribly unequal. Pelé suffered from a severe knee injury and was eventually carried off, taking any hope Brazil had of winning with him. Eusebio created the opening goal of the match when he beat his man on the left and put over a near post cross. Manga, in the Brazilian goal, could only punch the ball to Antonio Simoes, who headed in from close range. Portugal were dominant throughout, and in the 27th minute, Eusebio extended their lead with a powerful header. Brazil needed victory to progress to the quarter-finals and pulled a goal back midway through the second half, Rildo's low drive restoring some pride and giving the South Americans hope. But that hope was extinguished in the 85th minute, Eusebio's stunning half-volley, a defining moment that was celebrated in style. The goal was an abiding memory of the tournament and helped Portugal to a 3-1 win. Brazil were eliminated, and Eusebio moved on to the quarter-finals. In the last eight, Portugal faced the surprise team of the tournament, Korea DPR. The Koreans had already provided an upset by beating and eliminating Italy. Within a minute, they created a sensation. Pak Sung Yin's shot from the edge of the area flew into the top corner of the net. In the 22nd minute, Lee Dong-Woon slid in to make it 2-0. Minutes later, the Koreans claimed another goal, Yang Song-Kuk scoring to give the underdogs an incredible 3-0 lead. It would take something very special to save Portugal, but Eusebio was set to provide the miracle they needed. He made it 3-1 with an unstoppable shot from Jose Augusto's through ball, and by half-time, Portugal had pulled another goal back, this time courtesy of a penalty by their goal machine, Eusebio. In the space of three second-half minutes, Eusebio scored twice, completing one of the most famous comebacks in FIFA World Cup history. His hat-trick goal was scored without breaking stride, and then, after yet another energetic run, Eusebio was brought down in the penalty area. Four goals would be scored by the Mozambique-born attacker, and he even helped set up their fifth, sending over the corner that Augusto finally headed in. Portugal won an incredible match 5-3, with Eusebio the undoubted hero of their victory. His one-man crusade had salvaged Portugal's FIFA World Cup dream. Wembley provided the stunning venue as Portugal faced the hosts, England, in the semi-finals. The English had done their homework, and their combative midfielder, Nobby Styles was assigned the task of man-marking Eusebio. His role, and one role alone, was to stop Portugal's danger man. With their main threat subdued, Bobby Charlton took full advantage, scoring once in each half to put England 2-0 ahead.
With eight minutes of the match remaining, Bobby's brother Jack handled in the area and Portugal were awarded a penalty. Eusebio sent goalkeeper Gordon Banks the wrong way, but it was too little, too late. Portugal lost 2-1 and England went on to win the trophy following a thrilling victory against West Germany in the final. A tearful Eusebio would recover for the third place playoff where another penalty would give him his ninth goal of the finals and with it the golden boot. Eusebio was the first world-class striker to emerge from the African continent. He remains almost unchallenged as the greatest Portuguese player ever, and his exploits in the FIFA World Cup have earned him legendary status.